be me. Get invited to a 5th edition game by same DM from of bards and bagpipes. DM stepbrother DMing his first game, needs more people. Sure what could go wrong. Old DM playing elf druid, new DM's fiance is a human ranger, DM's buddy is halfling wizard. Party all ranged, needs a tank. Let's fucking do it. Wonder da bear hagabunda higartha, ultra competitive goliath fighter with an honor complex that would put the gods of lawful good to shame. Dreams of securing a place in history among his ancestors. Goes into battle with a shield since his friends are tiny and need his help to have a fair fight. Carries a dozen light hammers for chucking at cards. Fists for everything else. Got his nickname by wrestling a bear into submission on a hunting trip since weapons would be unfair. Turned the bear into a belt which he wears with pride. Wears it like a championship belt. Looks like a giant Dwayne Johnson with more tattoos. Entertainer background. Has a drum. Can't play it. Party doesn't understand. Everyone gets a random item. One got a bag of human teeth. Decide to fluff it as trophies. Shoulder bean an orc. DM instantly hates the character since he isn't optimized to all hell. We level 1 fam. Dafuck you mean optimized. DM straight up tells me one won't survive the first session. Fine but Ima make the fucker work for it. Party meets at a fair. Druid is playing music. Ranger is doing archery challenges. Wizard is doing pyrotechnics and one is at the pumpkin chuckin competition. The catapult trebuchet pumpkin chuckin competition. Without a catapult. He's winning. Wizard accidentally blows up one of his pumpkins mid-flight, showers ranger in pumpkin bits. Whiz and one are instantly best friends. Druid wants to do a performance with one. One sets the drum on the ground, gets on top of it and starts flexing. Fucking nail that perform check. Hear about a raid going on a few days down the road. Party gathers up and sets off. Adventuring into city under attack by a dragon and a massive cult supported by kobolds. Run into a family running down the street from the kobolds. Dad is messed up. Kids are scared. Mama goes ham and stands her ground. One plows into the kobold attacking her. Kills it in one punch. Range crew does its thing while one draws all the aggro. Cultist runs into the mix. One sees an actual challenge. Charges and rolls a 20 for the grapple. DM lets him take an extra action for giggles. Racial Trey doubles his lift capacity so he can carry 510 without even slowing down. One is 8 foot tall, 4 foot arms, can lift people 12 feet in the air one handed, force fall damage and add strength modifier for giggles. Proceed to Chukeslam the cultist to death, give the family some daggers and point them on a safe way out. Sneak through some alleys to avoid a patrol, bump into another at the end of the road. Mess of cultists and an ambush drake, Taj attack wired PNG, one charges in and grapples the drake, starts dragging it away from the rest of the party. Team Squishy is blasting away at the cultists that aren't chasing one. Tanking hits like a champ. Still hurts. Need to shift the drake so the party can hit it. Also need to knock it prone to not die. Drake has cultists on both sides of it. DM says I can't shift it. Fine. I suplex it. DM says my character isn't strong enough. One's max carry is 1020 pounds. And he isn't going to move. Proceeds to German suplex the drake over his head and into the line of fire. Gets obliterated before the turn ends. Beat the cultists to death before ripping out the fangs. Add them to the bag. Party reaches the keep. Barely alive. Guards have been jacking off all day. Let us in after we do all the work. Take a long rest. We deserve it. DM won't let us level up. Lots of bitching but DM won't budge. One and wizard get challenged to drinking contest by the garrison. Start passing out flagons of flaming whiskey. One isn't going to turn down a competition. Wizard rolls bad and burns himself on the first flagon. One rolls a nat 20 and downs two at a time. Wizard immediately puts 20 down on the goliath. Eight flagons later one is still going strong. Only one guard is still in. Wizard steals his money pouch, blames it on another guard. Drunk guard believes him and knocks out the other one. Goes back to drinking. Passes out two rounds later. One is the victor after drinking enough to floor an ogre. Wizard convinces the other guards that they had all bet on their friend. Rolling and our JPG. Get up the next morning, get sent out by Lord Chuckle Nuts to help fortify the gate cause the kobolds built a ram. Get ambushed by a bigger, meaner drake and a bunch of acolytes there to heal it. Round 2 Metherfica. One a charges in and grapples. Gets absolutely mauled and has to pop his racial to stay alive. Party is frantically killing all the acolytes. Next turn shoves the drake to the ground, 
can survive longer due to disadvantage from prone. Drag the drake away and shove it in a corner for some turnbuckle action. Proceed to knee and headlock it to death over the course of the encounter while the party cheers and finishes off the kobolds. Rip out the fangs, teeth for the teeth bag. Another group comes. Party is all half dead. Fight off the acolytes and an initiate but not before druid gets code. Gate is getting smashed to hell. Wizard throws up an illusion to make it look like it's holding. Run to get help. Find a cleric to heal us up and give us another party member since we're still freaking level 1. Bump into the lord who helpfully informs us that the gate appears to be holding. Yep. One tries to cram the drake's corpse into the gate to slow them down. Doesn't work. Flood of kobolds. Kobolds are small. One counts as large for lifting. Technically two sizes smaller. Start grabbing kobolds and shot putting them back over the wall. Horde eventually breaks and runs. Ranger got KO'd but lived. One barely made it out. Only survived due to healer NPC. Jetting real tired of this shit. Time for another break. Still not allowed to level up. Literally relying on an NPC to keep us alive because we can't level. During the rest somehow the conversation changes to Goliath anatomy. Druid does the math and estimates the approximate average. Size of Goliath at 8 foot. Party is having a giggle. DM says that I should roll 2d6 to see how one stacks up to his kin. Roll a 12. Druid scaling makes it 16. Get an extra point to charisma. Celebrate with another round of performance. Getting some weird looks from some of the guards now. Wake up. Under attack. Again. Fortress gets attacked by the dragon. Party shoots and one throws hammers at it while it strafes hordes of NPC guards. Eventually buggers off after crisping a few dozen guards but not before the wizard miscasts and freezes about 10 of them solid. Lord comes out and looks at the carnage. A dragon that can breathe fire and ice? Yeah it's been crazy out here. Lord buys it, sends us to find an acolyte for interrogation. Head out of the keep and into the burnt remains of the city. Track one down with a pair of buffed up cultist bodyguards, one charges through them and tackles the acolyte. Party blasts the cultists as they try to free their boss. Wizard gets some rope and and hog ties the acolyte while one keeps him pinned. One scoops him up and they head back. Hashtag carrying the party. Two females and a halfling. One literally carries the party around on his shoulders. Get back to the keep. Interrogation time. One has intimidate. Allowed to add str modifier to the rolls. Placed in charge of the process. One storms into the middle of the room. Under his belt of throwing hammers. Sets it on the table. Acolyte doesn't look too happy. One rips off his pants. Acolyte is now visibly frightened of the naked 8 foot tall bodybuilder staring him down. One picks him up and pins him against the ceiling one handed. I hide nothing. Neither will you. Acolyte spills the beans. One drops him. 1d6 full damage. Breaks his leg. Tosses his belt and pants over his shoulder. Calmly leaves the room. Accidentally intimidate the lord and two of his guards. Next day. Still all level 1. Cobbled send in their champion with some captives. Demands to fight the strongest man in the keep. This is my destiny. One steps up with term. No magic. No allies. Win or lose the captives are set free. Cobbled's agree and go get their champ. Meet up in the middle of the keep. One tosses his belt over his shoulder and roars his challenge. Cobbled send in a dragonborn with a great sword and heavy armor. Let's do this JPG. One goes for the grapple. Rolls a nat 20. Thank you RN Jessus. DM makes a roll we can't see. Says I fail it. Ask how. One hit a 20 with a plus 5 athletics. DM says he rolled a 20 and the dragonborn her 6. Fail the grapple. Dragonborn does a great sword multi attack. Even after popping the racial damage reducer one gets killed in one turn. Dragonborn proceeds to jam its sword through his skull once he falls before turning back and leaving. Checked its stats later. Level 4 Dragonborn Fighter. Its breath attack could wipe the party in one turn. Hostages get released. DM calls it a night. Tells everyone else to stat up to level 2. Nobody showed up since. Party sends message few days later. Epilogue 4-1. His clan heard of his death. Recorded his story. Chieftain gave him a new nickname post-mortem. Drake Slammer. Druid old DM hosting a new game. Demands that one dead a plus one charisma bunda Hagartha be the party tank. Plan new build and barbarian to be benching 4,800 pounds by level 6. Time to supplux adult dragons. Be me. 5th edition game with a random group. Have a human cleric, a pixie sorcerer, a kenku monk, and a gnome bard. 
filling in as the frontline tank since they have everything else covered. Starting at level 7. Finally the time has come. Bring out Wanderda Dracoslama Bunda Hagartha the Goliath Bear Totem Barbarian, big and honor bound as ever. Necklace and arm bands of teeth pulled from his best fights. Have a 20 in strength. Stacks with powerful build and bear totem to give him a carry weight of 1200. Lift weight is at 2400 with advantage on strength checks. Can bench press full grown cows without breaking a sweat. Time for a comeback tour. Dumped off in a small city after a disaster. Town has started to pull itself back together and is throwing a festival. Gnome runs straight into the middle and starts playing a loot. Noxes roll out of the park and gathers a small crowd. Monk runs out and starts doing acrobatics. Wonderda won't be left behind. Start strongman flexing as the monk does tricks to the music. One great roll after another the party is becoming the center of attention. Just warming up. Start throwing the monk 30 feet in the air as he does flips. Crowd goes nuts. Getting showered with silver coins. Pixie is flying around on two tiny dragon familiars watching the entire affair. Cleric just kinda hangs back. Hear a call from across the market. Last entries for the arm wrestling competition. Nearly drop the monk and sprint over. Five tough farmers and blacksmith. Men. Turns in time to see another Goliath sign up. Thank the spirits for this opportunity. Three progressive rounds. Start off against a farmer. Official smacks the table to start the first round. Farmer is giving it all he's got. Slowly push his hands down while watching the others wrestle. Finish first and have to wait for the rest anyway. Next up is the blacksmith. Definitely stronger than the farmer but still out of his league. Official smacks the table and it starts again. Actually need to try a little this time but still win pretty quick. Watch as the other Goliath puts cracks in the table as he pushes his opponent's hand down. Make our way to a table that is rapidly being reinforced with metal. Size each other up. Give each other the nod. Sit down and lock hands. Official smacks his hand down and backs a few feet away. One's hand is getting pushed back. Gets about 45 degrees before he starts to get his ground back. Push the other Goliath to the same position on his side. Other Goliath pushes it back to the middle and locks up. Refuse to use inspiration from the bard or support from the party. Table is visibly bending even with the metal supports. One is slowly gaining ground on the other Goliath. Makes him fight for every inch as his hand slowly goes down. With a raw one pushes the other's hand to the wood with a crack. Both Goliaths spring to their feet. Crowd backs up. Perform the manliest handshake the world has ever seen as the crowd roars. Get awarded 200 gold and a giant keg of ale. Give the party the gold and drink half the ale in one go on a dare. Can't finish it but by god he tried. Turns out the monk is an alcoholic and he takes the rest. Make our way up to the keep for an announcement. Some noble is going on and on about the festival. Honored and proud and your dare dare dare. Get asked for perception checks. Roll a 20. See a giant staring at us from around a mountain. Crap. See something flying. Roll another 20. White dragon. Shit. Civilians and lords scatter. Party spreads out and gets ready. Dragon eventually gets to us while the giant stays back and watches. Lands and blasts one in the monk with a nice breath. Monk loses a third of his health while one more or less shrugs it off. Half the party speaks draconic and try to talk to it. Dragon stares at them like they're nuts. Roars something about attacking the village for its master. Won't surrender to such weak beings. Weak. One charges in and grapples. Passes the grapple and shoves it prone in one turn. Party frantically argues over what to buff one with. Refuse any buffs and just tell them to hit it. As four players with advantage wail on the dragon it starts to rethink its choices in life. After failing to break out of the grapple on its turn it starts to panic. Pixie wants to try and dominate the dragon. Dragon is too scared to concentrate. Two 1d45 headbutts from Wonder to bring it back to reality. Still refuses to bow. Gets polymorphed into a sheep. Wonder to picks it up and carries it over to the Pixie. Pixie asks it if it will accept a dignified surrender. Baa. Pixie asks it telepathically through its small dragon familiars if it will accept a dignified surrender. Dragon is more scared of its master than it is of us. Noble comes out again while the party is arguing over the best way to make the dragon sheep our pet. Here's your dragon sir. Noble asks us why we turned it into a sheep instead of killing it. Everyone wants to keep it as a pet. Duh. Noble explains to the party that white dragons are evil lying monsters that will do anything for power. Record scratch mp3. Wonderda leans towards the noble. They lie? Of course they do. 
snaps the sheep's neck, transforms back into its regular form. Party panics while the sorcerer threatens to kill Wanda. Dragon is ray grappled and pinned. Everyone stops panicking and debates what to do again. Noble and Wanda want to kill the damn dragon. Cleric doesn't care one way or the other. Bard and sorcerer want to save it. Monk asks the noble if he will pay him to kill it. Gets a really annoyed yes. More money means more beer. Starts to punch the dragon in the ass. Sorcerer prepares to fire on Wanda if he tries to hurt the dragon again. So be it. One activates his boots of springing and striding. Triples his jump distance and encumbrance doesn't slow him down. Gets a running start and jumps into the sky with the dragon. Supplexes it from 30 feet in the air. Follows it up by pummeling it with knees to the head. Sorcerer has no line of sight to one. Monk flips over its back and under its head. Finishes it with a kick to the bottom of the head. Sorcerer is traumatized. Wonder starts ripping out fangs as trophies right in front of him. You didn't need to kill him. He lies. He needed to leave this plane. So you killed him for lying. Liars cheat. He can cheat in a world that I'm not in. Then what happens when you die? He'll need a new plane again. Threatens to shoot one. Is asked if he wants to get into a grapple with someone who counts as three sizes larger than him. Backs off. Big gold reward for the party. One again refuses payment in exchange for keeping the dragon corpse. Picks it up and carries it off with the wings and tail dragging in the grass. Plenty of leather for a new belt. New title Dragon's Bane. If you haven't already check out my Redbubble portfolio, you might just find something you like. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop!